Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, I just wanted to show you how the uh, how the coal stove water heater turned out. It's it's kind of a gaudy looking thing, but uh, that's just a fan I got hanging from the ceiling in front of it to blow heat uh, coming off the top back into the long end of the room there. But uh, it's still all the same internals from the last video. I got those two radiators in there and the two copper coils. Uh, but it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, at least the, uh, the water temperature in the tanks is running about two degrees warmer than uh, the room air temperature. So if it's not as good as I'd hoped, but it's, it is working. So I'm probably just gonna leave it as it is for this winter. Uh, I don't know as yet what I can do to, to improve on what it's doing, but uh, maybe with some thinking here, I'll, uh, I'll have something new for it here come next winter. But uh, the way it all works, uh, it's the, uh, my, my uh, barrels up here, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a rigged up looking contraption, but uh, water flows, now well, let's start here. I'll start here. I got a sump uh, bucket right here, and yeah, it's full of water. And the water from the sump bucket flows down to a cert pump, and the cert pump takes. I got a half-inch copper line running over over to the top of the stove and it goes down inside and it, there's a T down there and it splits into two circuits and uh, goes each circuit has a radiator and a copper coil in there and uh, flows through those and then back up out uh, and stays split into two circuits and they go back over and each one goes into the top of the barrel here and here and it switches from copper to stainless steel and coils down through the barrels and through the stainless which are filled with fish water so the fish water sucks the heat out of the stainless coils and then the barrels drain by gravity back down to the, to the sump bucket uh, and that's that's the loop uh, for the stove and then each side of my room does basically the same thing with fish water out of the tanks for the surf pump and the surf pump just pumps fish water into the bottom of the barrel, up through the barrel, and then gravity's back down to the fish system. And the same thing on this side. The water is pumped through this smaller line with a surf pump crossed here and down into the bottom of the barrel up through the barrel and gravity's out of the top and back down into the fish system so there's no uh, no copper coming in contact with, uh, with the fish water so uh, that problem's taken care of and uh, like I say, if anybody's got any ideas to improve this rig, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Uh, this whole deal doesn't have to be my idea, so give me a hand here if you're in, if you're so inclined. But, uh, that's pretty much it for the for the heater for for this year. So see you later.